So the year of the dragon is here and people are out and about. There's many people at all of these temples, they're all worshipping. It's really exciting to see, so Xin Yan Kuai La. And welcome back to the Traveling Kunst YouTube channel. I'm your host, Ferdinand, and in this video, we're going to celebrate Chinese New Year. I am right now still here in Taipei, in Datong. We're going to check out the Lunar New Year market that you see behind me in a second. However, this video has way more things to offer. We're going to see temples, we're going to see food, and many more amazing things. So I really hope that you join me along. Most of this video will take place in Dashi, not too far away from Taipei, where I spent my first Lunar New Year in a Buddhist temple. And I can tell you it was quite an experience. However, we kick things off here at Datong Old Street in Taipei, because this is a great place to discover some Taiwanese New Year traditions. Today is actually the day before Chinese New Year. It is still a national holiday, but on this day, many people go shopping or they go traveling to see their families. Later on in this video, you're going to see the actual celebration that's going to happen tomorrow. But now, let's do some shopping here in the market. I really like Datong. It is one of the oldest districts in Taipei. Datong Old Street is a great example of the unique architecture that you have here. Some of these buildings date back to the Qing Dynasty, but most were built during the years of Japanese colonization. Now, the Lunar New Year market here in Datong is super famous. It is a main attraction. It is super large and super busy. I have troubleshooting. I really hope that you understand me. So let's check it out. The really cool thing about these markets in Taiwan is that people want you to try everything. As I squeeze through the busy streets, I'm offered a lot of free samples. This makes this Luna New Year market really famous because there is so many things to try. If you happen to be in Taipei during Chinese New Year, make sure you pass by and check out Da Tong. The market is super busy. It is very hard just to get your camera out. I found this big place over here. There is more space. It is still super loud. I hope you can understand me. We're going to continue in a second exploring this amazing place. But before we go, I really hope that you like this video. Please hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. And now, let's go. Many people just come to feel the vibrant atmosphere or to do some final shopping before the big celebration the next day. Additionally, some take the opportunity to visit the temples in the area. The Datong New Year Market is enormous and I can only show you a few impressions in this video. After all, the main topic of this video is all about how I spent my first Chinese New Year in a Buddhist temple. So I reached the end of the market and we are done with Taipei. Let's keep going to Dashi. Now it is time to hit the road. From Datong, I took the metro to the main bus station and it's just an hour bus ride to Dashi from there. I've already created a separate video about Dashi and you can find the link in the description below. And I arrived here in Dashi in the temple. I'm gonna spend the whole night over here. It is still early, it is still daytime. People are preparing a lot. I'm gonna show you some footage in a second but I have been told that it's getting really busy later on. From the looks of it, things are fairly quiet at the moment, which is good for me. I can take some footage of the temple. This complex is almost 200 years old and I've actually been here before, but I didn't have time to make a video. And in case you wonder, the vendors are selling a large variety of items, including worship materials such as incense, paper money, food and lottery tickets. More about that later on. The good thing is the temple is on a hill that gives you an amazing view. We're going to check it out right now. The bad thing is there is only stairs. We're going to walk up a lot of stairs. That's going to be very exhausting. According to a sign, the temple is five floors high and it took me a couple of minutes just to climb up all the stairs. I will speed this up and I'll take you on a quick tour through the main part of the temple complex.
You probably have recognized that this is a Buddhist temple with many, many shrines. I tried to take some footage. People told me it's fine to do so. However, I am hesitating a bit and I didn't want to get too close because of course it is Chinese New Year and many people are worshipping at the moment. I don't want to take movies off them while they're doing so. That's why I really recommend that you go to a temple and experience it yourself. There's way more things to see, way more things that I can show you in this video. The Guanin Temple in Daji is absolutely beautiful. Just check this awesome view. Visiting one or several temples is an important tradition during the Chinese New Year here in Taiwan. Buddhists come to this temple to worship and hope for blessings in the coming year. Offerings, including fruits and other food items for example, are presented to honor the deities. For many Taiwanese, visiting a temple during the Lunar New Year is a standard practice, much like giving red envelopes to family members. And as you maybe see, I'm wearing my rain jacket right now. It is as cold as you can get in Taiwan. We have like less than 10 degrees. It is raining a lot. However, that does not stop people from coming. I had to learn the hard way that it got way colder later that night. While I expected to spend the night here, I originally planned to have food in a cozy restaurant close by. But things took a different turn and that made my first Lunar New Year experience in Taiwan truly special. I wanted to grab some dinner in the city, but the people working the temple saw me doing my videos and asked me to have dinner with them. There is a kitchen for the people working here. They are already preparing food. I am really excited. Of course, I didn't say no to that invitation. So let's see what they have in store for us. Dinner was absolutely delicious. There was fish, shrimp, pork knuckles, hot pot, duck, chicken and so much more. Obviously, there also had to be some Gaoliang and that really helped me to battle the cold, at least in the short run. So it got dark, I just had dinner, had a really good time and now the temple is oddly quiet. There is some fireworks going on and a few people are still here worshipping. However, people told me that it's going to get really busy in a few hours when it gets close to midnight. So let's see what's gonna happen. The temple got really quiet, almost silent, and people are preparing. Besides food and Buddha jewelry, lottery tickets are a fairly common purchase during Chinese New Year. I assume that many people try to test their luck for the New Year. Who knows? And slowly people are coming in and I'm really excited because I can feel that something important is happening. It is 11.30 now, it is freezing cold. I am really cold. But more and more people coming to the temple. I think there is some sort of small ceremony now. People had dinner, people come here to worship. It is getting busy. Some people bring fireworks, but people say now there is some kind of drums playing and something important is happening. Oh, and important it is, yes. More and more people are gathering and indeed something is happening. It is essentially a friendly competition. The temple has just closed its doors and in a few minutes it will open again. Once the doors open, those waiting compete to be the first to place their incense torch in front of the temple. The waiting time is quite long, so I'll fast forward, but when the doors open, things move really, really fast. Trust me.
There's loads of people here now. It is super busy. The fireworks have stopped. There's some music playing. I hope you can understand me. My eyes are really hurt. My eyes start tearing because there's so much smog and so much of this um, incense smog in the air. It's pretty crazy, but also very exciting. This is it. The new year has started. This is the highlight of my Lunar New Year festivities. People are offering incense papers and burning it to worship their ancestors. They also go through the shrines in the temple and on the deities with their worship prayers. The year of the dragon is there and if you are born in a dragon year like me then you have to be very careful because it's Tai Shui. It's a destiny year. Many people that are born in the dragon year do some extra prayers right now in the temple to turn the tides for their destiny. The counter ritual is called An Tai Shui and I learned about that during my temple visit here. The interesting thing is that this is just the beginning and the Lunar New Year will last a full week. Not everyone goes from temple to temple of course, but it is still incredible to see that all of Taiwan almost comes to a standstill during this time of the year. Things slowly calm down, my eyes are tearing, there's so much smog in the air, but people are still very active, there's many people around, the competitive part is over. But I got a feeling that this will be a very long night for many people at work here especially. For today, I am done celebrating the Chinese New Year and it's time to leave the temple and get some sleep. So it is the next morning. I am super tired. I didn't sleep a lot. It was a very long night. Super interesting Chinese New Year. I really enjoyed it. However, we are not done with this video. People told me that besides the temple here in Dashi, I should also go to the old town because many people go there to celebrate New Year. So let us go and check it out right now. So it is time to go downtown. After all, we should have at least a quick look around. Even the streets are super busy. People are shopping or, as you might expect, visiting the temples. Dashi is a tourist area and the old town is super famous. It is no surprise that there are a lot of people here. This is also the reason why you should not travel so much during Lunar New Year. On the other hand, I traveled here and did just fine. I really like Dashi. I did a video about this place before and I always like to come back. It's an amazing place and I really want to see that temple that I missed last time. Again, I did not expect that I spent a full Chinese New Year over there, but you never know. Taiwan is full of new experiences, right? Besides the Guanyin Temple that you saw where I spent the Chinese New Year, there are many other famous temples in the Dashi Old Street. I covered some of them in my video about my first visit to Dashi. And you can imagine that those temples are super busy today as well. So over Chinese New Year, temples are open all night and they also open today, the first day of the New Year. They usually close at 8 o'clock in the evening again. So it's super busy, many people want to worship and it's super interesting to see. However, that's also the reason why I'm not going to take so much footage because I don't want to disturb the people. This is the Fujian Temple right in the city center. And as you can see, it is beautiful and also very busy. Since more than 200 years, people come here to worship. And there is one more temple that I really have to show you before wrapping up this video. Dashi is full of temples and they are all incredible busy. For like several days people just have nothing else to do besides worshipping. It's pretty cool. This is the Puji temple. Probably the most famous temple in Dashi. Just take a moment to feel the vibe. Now it is time to bring this video to an end. I revisited the Guanyin temple and it was still bustling with activity. There are thousand more things to share, but this video is long enough. I crossed the old town and I found my way to the Chiang Kai-shek park. So we are now coming to the end of this video. I really hope you liked it. This is how I celebrated the Chinese New Year in Taiwan. Very surprising for me. I did not expect this, but it was very interesting. I really hope that you liked this video. Please hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. And I hope to see you soon again. Bye.